Hey guys, what's going on? It's McMaster TV here. I'm going to be making a tutorial on how you can get plugins for Adobe After Effects um, CC. And this is the the version I provided in an earlier tutorial. And you, the reason why people are having trouble with the plugins part is because you don't install it. So it does not go in your program files. You have to go in there um, where it is, where all the files are, and you have to look for it yourself. Now, I have told people I found a plugins folder, but they said, some people said it didn't work, some people said it worked. So, I figure, finally figured it out on my own. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, I want to show you that I do not have After Effects CC installed. It is the one I got, and I got myself, which is portable, meaning you do not have to install it. So, I have a CC for Photoshop, and uh, there's nothing in here. Nothing in there. Alright, so this is the one I downloaded, the portable version. You're going to see how it's portable something. I'm going to, I'm making sure everyone's okay with this. So, um, yeah, I hope I saved everyone some work because I know there were some people that couldn't figure it out. And, um, I just don't want anyone to be frustrated. I want everyone to be happy. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And, um, if you want to, you can tell other people about me. I have a goal of getting 100 subscribers by the end of the month. At the rate I'm going, um, I might not make it. But, I, at this moment, I'm at 33. So, we shall see in, like, 10 days where I'm at. Anyway, I'm gonna download Trap Code, and I'm also gonna be downloading, um, actually, no. Trap Code's the only plugin I'm getting and also Red Giant would come up because Trap Code's by Red Giant. Red Giant is not here and Trap Code is not here. And the preset I was gonna put in the, for another example is Synchronizer. So nope, nothing comes up for that. Alright, so first we're gonna start off with going to program files um to where you program files and Adobe, that should be where you install your plugins. So this is going to be where the plugins are installed on this window, and this is going to be where the where the actual Adobe After Effects was installed. Well, not installed, but uh, where the files are. So plugins. Um, when you install your plugins, by the way, when you install them, make sure you're saying install for Adobe After Effects and um, Premiere CC, not CC 2014. The version I provided is only CC, not 2014. So Make sure it's only t CC that you installed for. So anyway, plugins. All right, this is where the plugins are right here. Now I'm going to go into where I installed. Well, the files are for the one I got, the CC I have. So these are. This is it. You should recognize this if you follow the vid video, and uh, should be good. So for After Effects CC up here in the plugins, you're going to click on that and you're gonna be support files. Now in here, it's gonna a long journey to support files, so I'm going to show you how to get there. First, you're going to want to click on Sandbox, and After Effects, Roaming, Modified. Then you're going to see this. All you need to do is do Program Files, so click on that. And then you're going to click on Adobe. And then this is where normally the um, Adobe would come to in Program Files. And you're going to click on CC, and then it's going to be Support Files. We're at the same part right now, right? So, where the plugins are, click on support files, and then we're going to click on support files here. Now, this has plugins and presets. You can see it has plugins, but it may not have presets. So, you're just going to want to create a folder called presets. Make sure you spell it right, just in case. So, it's called presets. So, first, we're going to go to plugins or copy all those things that are in plugins to here. So, that's the way it goes, because these are where um, all their plugins are installed for CC. This is not even the trial version, it's just where the plugins are installed. Before I install the plugins, this folder was not here. Okay, so we're going to go plugins here now. Here's your format and effects. Effects has nothing to do with this tut, so you can just ignore that. Now you can see in plugins, trap codes there. So you're going to want to copy it, and you're going to want to paste it in the here. And just wait momentarily for that to be done. And you can see it's done. Now, Trap code is just help and uh, form in particular. That's fine. Now go into for format and you're gonna form it here. Pro import. 
that was already there for me, so do not worry about that if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, now you're gonna when you go into the format, you're gonna see trap code again. You're gonna want to copy that. You're gonna paste it. You're gonna continue. Now I'll just wait momentarily for that. It's basically the same thing. Um, now you're gonna go back, go back. And we're done here. Go back again. Go back again. And we're gonna click presets. Now we're gonna do presets here. This is empty. You've just created this. Like I said, if you don't have it, make one. Now whatever's in presets here, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna continue. Okay. So let's go back one, one, and um. There's one more thing I have to do. Go back one more. Go back one more here. Go back one more and go back one more. We're gonna go into common. Now, um, you're gonna go into plugins. So I'm gonna go common here. You see plugins again. So plugins 7.0, plugins 7.0, 7.0, MIDI core, MIDI core. There's nothing in there. MIDI core. Now this is the, where the red giant thing comes in. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste it right into the to the MIDI core right here. So that's the same. So we're gonna go back, go back back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, and I almost forgot that we need to install our synchronizer, which is our um, preset, so we're going to go to presets, and uh, we're going to go on synchronizer, um, I'm going to get there real quick, I have it. Um, down, actually, no, I can get it right here. I actually, I downloaded it. I think I have to extract it real quick. So, I'm going to pause the video, so... Actually, no, I don't have to pause it. Extract to desktop. And there we go. So, just close that out. Sorry about that. Um, synchronizer, you're going to put in the presets. Continue. Close that out. Close that out. You should be good. I'm making this all one video. No cuts. Because I don't want anyone to think. I paused it and did something. Okay. This is going to be all one thing. I apologize if it's long. I don't even know. It's probably like five minutes at least by now. Um, but just bear with me. Because it works. And I don't want anyone to be frustrated. Because the people are saying it doesn't work. It works fine. You just got to figure it out a little bit. But uh, since I did save, save people some work, I think, um, please like the video. Please sub me if you haven't already, like I said before. So we're just going to wait for this to load up. And uh, this is just because I have some on my desktop. I have extra copies. And just, you're not, probably not going to get that unless you have like extra copies somewhere. Probably, I don't know, your downloads maybe. Okay, so... I'm going to, um, I'm going to open 100 sub goal, and we're going to check our effects. Now, you can see that we do have Red Giant added, and we also have Trap Code added, which means it worked. So, let's click on that real quick. Um, Red Giant, I don't know what this even does, that's not what I downloaded, it just came with it trap code form let's form is um it looks like a block at first so actually i have to no i can't uh can if i can't do it to that let me create a text real quick okay i just said hot hs is cool I don't know, I don't even know why I said that I was going to say hi, but it turned into HS, and then, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go to effect, we're going to go to trap code form. And you know it works, because it turns into a block, but uh, you have to do a bunch of stuff in there. So I'm not going to get into that, but it's working. Now, particular, I know, works, because it turns into particles, and as you're moving through the video, it changes particles. You can see they're not in the same spot the whole time. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, I guess it moves around. I'm not gonna render it right now though. But uh, just so you know, particle w particular works now. Effects and presets. We're gonna go to synchronizer. And this one, you also need a tutorial for too. Yep, it works. Um, you put this in music to make screen pumps. If you want any of these links, I'll probably put them in the description and make a video on uh, trap code definitely and how to get it for free. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, you make screen pumps, but you gotta do all these slider things. I forget how to use it. So it's not gonna work if I do it. I don't wanna waste time on it. Anyway, it works. So guys, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please check out some of my other videos. More videos coming soon. I will be doing Lightroom 5. That's going to be my next type for Photoshop. I'm going to be doing Trap Code for free. That's really easy. Um, I just got it like in 5 seconds. And, um, yeah. I, no, I probably won't be t doing a tutorial. I was going to say I do a tutorial for form too long. Anyway, I'm just going to do it on how to get it for free. So, I'll do that. Lightroom and Trap. Or, yeah, form in particular and all that stuff. So, thank you for watching. I'm Mickmaster TV, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.